Today we're looking at a very cheap head tracking solution. This using an iPhone and the app is free. You can try it out for 10 minutes at a time. And then if you want to buy the app, it's only $1.99. The app connects to your computer via IP wirelessly and it uses software called OpenTrack to provide track IR inputs to Star Citizen. So if you're like me, you wanted to get into head tracking for a while now. Couldn't justify the cost of a Track IR5 or a Toby Eye Tracker being $150 to $250. This solution works really, really well. Your iPhone's front camera is very good at tracking your face. It's got almost no latency whatsoever. And you don't even need to be a sweaty combat pilot to get a lot of enjoyment out of this. I, mean, I can look around at my MFDs, track my targets as they fly by. I mean, they can even roll around in the cockpit. Just gives you a lot of immersion, a lot of enjoyment that you wouldn't otherwise get just flying normally. So who are we looking for? Chad Chadwick. Nice. Turn a coupled off real fast. Good lord. Heart of shields, that hurt. These buccaneers die so fast. why you can see I can move my head up follow my target around before my nose comes around very helpful power to guns avoid the nose something's hitting me big For that. It's gotta be a glaive, yeah, or something like that. These, these things hit hard. The blade. Quick and easy. All right, so I'll show you how to set this up. Once you've downloaded the app, go ahead and open it up. I like to put my phone facing me below my monitor and point it up a little bit so I can see my whole head. You're gonna to wanna to hit the settings cog wheel in the app and then where it says PC IP address, you're just gonna to wanna to type in your IPv6 and then the port is 4242. Once you've got that done, go ahead and hit start, and you can see that the phone is now tracking your head. If you're wondering what your IP address is, you don't know how to find it, you can just Google, what is my IP? First thing you're going to see is, what is my IP address.com? Go ahead and click it, and you want your IPv6. So you're just going to type the number it shows. I'm blurring it out because I don't want you guys stealing my stuff. But you're going to type the number it shows for your IPv6 into your phone's head tracking app. And then for the port, you're just going to type in 4242. Should be that by default. All right, so now that you have the uh, head tracking app downloaded to your phone, you've set it up with your computer's IP address. You've hit start, and you can see on your phone screen that it's got a little tracking bar over your head. We're going to download this app called OpenTrack. Now, OpenTrack is free. It's on GitHub, and the link's in the description. Once you've got it downloaded, you want your input set to UDP over network and the output to free track 2.0 enhanced. That should be by default. So then we're gonna click start and we can see the octopus moving left and right, up, down, with my head, with the phone screen. We have the app downloaded. The app is connected to our computer through IP address and it's connected to open track and we see the octopus moving. We're going to go ahead and go into the mapping properties. So for the yaw, my max input is 45 degrees. So when I turn my head 45 degrees to the right, the output is going all the way up to 180 degrees in the game. Same with to the left. 
So that means you can always be looking at your screen and you can still get a full side to side head movement in the game. I got a little bit of a curve set up here just for smoothness. And uh, same with the pitch. So my max input for pitch is 30 degrees, max output 180. So when I move my head up, I'm looking up. And now I can see like all the way up, because even though I'm looking at the top of my monitor, same with down. And I'm looking at the bottom of my monitor, and I can look towards my feet in the game. The roll is like moving your head diagonally side to side. I don't have it going up much, because you know you're supposed to be in the seat. You can't really move around too much when you're in the seat. X is kind of the same, so that's more side to side movement, but not tilting your head. It's actually moving your body side to side. The Y is up and down movement. I barely have any mapped, but if I want to move up a little bit in the seat and down, I can do so. And the Z is forward and backwards movement in the seat. So if you want to like lean in and look at your MFDs, this is how you go forward and backward in your seat. So not very much going on here at all. But the yaw, the pitch, and the roll, I like these mappings a lot. So we're almost there. We've got our phone with the app downloaded, connected to our computer via our IP address. We can see our head moving on the phone app, and we can see that in OpenTrack, the octopus corresponds to our head movements. So we've got our mapping set up in OpenTrack. Now how do we set up the head tracking in Star Citizen? Going to Options, Comms, FOIP, and Head Tracking. And down to head tracking general source and select track IR. Once you've got that selected, you want the toggle enabled. By default, that toggle key is forward slash on your number pad. I have a little bit of smoothness for position and rotation at five. And disable while seated, you want that to be no. During interaction mode, during FPS, during aim down sight, mopey glass, interaction mode, that's kind of all up to you. You can copy mine if you'd like. Enable roll on seats, I like it on. Roll on FPS, I do not. Um, external view, kind of messes me up, don't like that. And the rest is kind of up to you. Once you get down to the, the Toby inputs, you're done. You don't, uh, you don't have Toby eye tracker, so none of that matters. After you've got that set up, just unpause. Your head should be moving around the cockpit. Enjoy. A couple of final notes before I leave you. If for some reason your head becomes uncentered in the cockpit, just look at the center of your monitor and press number pad 5, and that should recenter you. That's the default keybind for the recenter. And if for some reason it doesn't work the first time you set it up in the Star Citizen settings, then just go ahead and restart your game, and it should start working after that. Other than that, that's everything. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment and I'll try my best to help you out.